Alright, what's up guys? And as always, welcome back to another OU Wi-Fi battle, or Ubers really, versus Raven. It is a post-com Wi-Fi battle, I'm gonna try to cover it as well as I can. Sadly, I had six games recorded that I actually forgot to uh, adjust so that this microphone was plugged in. So, or was plugged in, but... Um, Elgato did not register it, so I'll do my very best. This is, of course, a Glade week, and uh, my team is kind of fun. I had the Sidui as a Defogger, Assault Vest, um, a Sumeril, uh, Dragon Dance variant of Dragonite, because that's that's a set that works. Choice Banner Glade, which is scary if I get it right. But that said, my opponent here, Raven, is going to lead off with Dredagon, and um, I have to lead off with Indonation, my. Uh, Scar variants of the Zergatry and I had very little reason to not Volt Switch. I didn't see the grounded type. Even though this is a resisted Volt Switch, it's still it still will do alright. And <laughs> that was my thought process. I did level back and forth though, but I was pretty convinced that he was probably gonna take the route of actually just setting up stealth rocks. So Steelix made sense and um, I did level though, I did level back and forth what was to be my best call, but I think I wanted just to get an exchange here that made us exchange rocks. So you get this stuff rocks off, there's nothing to it, and um, I'm, I think I'm going for Toxic first, um, <laughs> to be honest. I just in case you want to switch out, I actually decided to go for an Earthquake, and I have no investment in my defense, and uh, there is nothing happening with there. Um, Steely has a really, really good defensive stat, and I always forget that the main reason of using Steelix is probably more because it soaks physical damage really well. And um, even if, like, this is a defensive Dredagon, it still has 120 base or 120 attack. So it's a high value attack, it just a Steelix rubs it off like nothing because of that 200 base. So now I get my rocks up, and here I, after this earthquake kind of leveling, what would I want to do, but since I went faster, it means I've hit Roared, or in this time Dragon Tail, and that actually works out better for me, mainly because I get my Glade off, which as stated, this is a banded Glade, there is no switching for this, or to an extent session I guess is, or even sir, actually there are switchings here, but I decided to go for close combat anyway, I was kind of scared that actually the city was going to come in, and um, I was repeating that for myself, do not switch out, do not switch out, and we got the better here. The damage I put though could very much um, give my opponent at least a chance that he I'm probably banded or scarfed. So he actually goes directly for the Sidui for very quickly, and um, I wasn't sure what switching was the best, because the Sidui usually runs special, but I tend to face physical variants anyway, because of Quarter Geist. So after some soul searching, I decided to go for Jolgir, and the main reason for that, or my Dragonite, was because my Marvel scale, I figured I should be able to um, <laughs> stomach where it throws at me because of the multi scale and hopefully roost that off. Um, but yeah, like I said, somewhat worry about that because my Dragonite is max speed, max HP, and uh, it just it was a kind of hard thing to do. And I think that Poultry Guys actually does a lot of damage. I just signed to roost there. I figure my opponent probably want to switch out and. Um, See, and this is not a match, he wins. Uh, the Briggs is the absolutely legit session here. Which, by the way, it's not informed, but it gets the interpreted sword. So it's something weird with this one. Uh, it also is pure fairy, so but it doesn't have its steel form. And I <laughs> realized that kind of afterwards with a dragon dance directly. I was thinking, you know, Earthquake's gonna do, do good damage. I can definitely take at least one of these play roughs because of the Marvel scale, but it barely cut that one and it was because it was a crit i was really thinking i was going to take that a lot more reliably than i did i was like all right i'm i'm doing something wrong here but yeah he is not a, <laughs> a steel i was like wait i can't quake on this um so dual wing beat is my main goal i was like i was so confused by this because i, I didn't realize that without um if you, if you get that monk correctly, it's supposed to be steel. Uh, but at least I get the retaliation there with the, um, a crit dual wing beat, and I lose my Dragonite here, which, all things considered, that was probably what was going to happen anyway, but 
it doesn't matter because at this point my circuitry indignation the absolute bolts of the bolts are gonna come in and um, there is nothing nothing since the dirty gun went out that enjoys these thunderbolts and since i'm scarred i am in such a fine place and that credit force doesn't matter but it's gonna be one of many a circuitry is gonna break the game by actually overhauling its um, its rolls and hacks there is there is something very special when you feel the game slowly but surely leaning towards your side and that happens sometimes it's not pretty i won't say that it is because quite frankly sometimes the world just provides and this one hold by the way doesn't kill i was convinced it would a plus one and it goes from mystical fire pretty much ruined my beast boost by the way can we talk about that mystical fire that's actually a phenomenal tool to have on nine tails i really like that idea but it most likely is um oh it's heavy duty boost for sure i was gonna consider maybe it's a soul vest but no that's not gonna happen so anyway now i plus one again and um now comes the main event how to deal with a cernies i mean at this point i was i was not saying i was gonna lose but it's gonna require a lot of me to win depending on his set so i just went for thunderbolt thinking steelix maybe are able to pick it up and um actually does it right but i get him paralyzed which is so so goddamn great and while it goes for that gmnc and of course it is you know the most busted move in the game it is definitely up there like plus two special attack plus two defense plus two speed yeah i was not sure i was going to outspeed this one but at least i have a chance of getting him fully paralyzed but little did i know i am somehow able to outspeed here and i kill the cernies fairly 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 and <laughs> <laughs> this is it like there is no turning back here um i think it brings in the decidui and um i just assigned it to thunderbolt that one too i was not sure i was gonna ko but i also was pretty sure that i probably wasn't gonna die to shadow sneak um which by the way if you allow him i probably pull through guys but shadow sneak nope doesn't kill not even close and this thunderbolt actually will not kill Unfortunately, uh, and I decided to actually switch out here because I did not want to be able to deal with like I had no means of dealing with the Milotic head-on so I figured I, I saved that one in case off so I think that kind of pissed my opponent a little bit as Grimlock hard walls this this UI with such ease and grace that um, he just decided to cut this game short and for what it's worth, I think it's fine. I think I could have given him the kill, but um, he said fuck it, and I get it. And I want to really thank Raven for the big game. I thought it was a really fun one. And it's always fun going up against Ubers and triumph over them, because there is a certain essence of battles I lost because the Ubers are so incredibly powerful, and this simply wasn't one of them. So that's the guys. Always thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys your next video. Until then, as always, guys, take care, right? Bye.